this video I'm going to work out an individual derivative. It is going to be one that involves a trig function and we are going to have chain rule. I am also going to use the DDX notation so that it clearly shows where each one of the chain, chain rules is going to be applied. All right, so this is my original function right here. So what I want to do before I even start taking the derivative is I want to be able to see all my exponents real clearly. So I'm gonna take this radical and rewrite it in exponential form. So I'm going to have a cosine of two x to the fifth, and then that's gonna be raised to the one half power. Okay, so from there to there, I'm doing no calculus whatsoever, just strictly rewriting that function. Okay, now I'm going to take my derivative, so f prime of x is going to be equal to. All right, so here hopefully you can see this has an inside and it's being raised to a power. So I'm going to do the derivative of the outside function and I'm going to leave the inside function alone. So I'm going to pull the one half down in front. All right, I'm going to leave the inside alone, cosine to x to the fifth. All right, and then when we do that, we subtract one from the exponent, so I have a negative one half. All right, now I'm gonna show where the chain is going to occur, so now I'm gonna have ddx of this inside function. So cosine of a two x to the fifth. All right, on the next line, nothing is gonna change here at the beginning, so I'll still have the one half. I'll still have cosine two x to the fifth and then to the negative one-half power. All right, now I'm going to focus on the derivative here. Again, I have an outside function and an inside function. So I'm going to take a der the derivative of the outside function. So the derivative of cosine is going to be minus sine. I'm going to leave the inside function alone, 2x to the fifth. And then I'm going to multiply it by the derivative of the inside. So there's another chain. So ddx of 2x to the fifth. All right, on my last step, I'm gonna keep everything up to here the same and I will take this derivative at the end. So I'm gonna have a 1 half times cosine 2x to the fifth raised to the negative 1 half minus sine 2x to the fifth all right, now I'm actually gonna take the derivative here, all right, which now this is just a single polynomial, so I have no more chain rules here. I will just strictly have a 10x to the fourth. Okay, now before I start uh, simplifying and putting this together here, let's take care of the fact that this is a one half right here, so that two's in the bottom, this 10 is in the top. Let's go ahead and reduce that so that I just have a five there. Okay, now, um, obviously this is going to go to the denominator because it has a negative one half power. All right, and when I do that, I'll put it back in radical form. The negative, all right, right there, and the 5x to the 4th, I'm going to pull out in front of that sign. So I'm going to have a negative 5x to the 4th in front of the sign 2x to the 5th. All right, moving this down, making the exponent positive, and turning that in back into a radical, I'm going to have the square root of cosine of 2x to the 5th. All right, final answer there. All right, so definitely a straightforward, really a straightforward trig derivative with uh, two chains in there because of those composite functions and a function being inside a function, inside a function. So when you can clearly see that there's an inside and an outside portion of the function, that's going to be your sign that you're going to be implementing a chain rule. And I do highly recommend this DDX notation. Every time, don't try to take that derivative in your head because you have a tendency to lose a chain in there every time we do that. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.